I'm Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. In this particular video, we will understand how do we find shortest distance between parallel lines in R2. We have three examples. R dot i plus j plus 5 equals to 0. R dot i plus j minus 9 equals to 0. So these are set of lines, parallel lines. We need to find distance between them. And similarly, we have another example which is r dot 2i minus 3j plus 4 equals to 0, r dot 4i minus 6j plus 3 equals to 0. In the last one here, we are given the vector equation, r equals to i plus j plus s, which is a parameter, 3i minus j and r equals to this, where s and t belongs to real numbers. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, I want to clarify a few things, which is based on the uh, way we write equations, right? So, this equation, which is r dot i plus j plus 5 equals to 0, for example. Now, here, r is, if we are doing r2, right? So, basically uh, what we have here is we have any particular point or let us say uh, which is let's say x y correct then that is the direction we are talking about i j right so i plus j so basically if you do the dot product r dot i j if you do in that case r is let's say x y in that case this equation can be written as x plus y plus 5 equals to 0. Right? Since those are the components, right? i component is the x, j component is y. So when you do the dot product, you get the i component and the j component and therefore you get x plus y plus 5 equals to 0. It does make sense to us, right? Now if that is your equation, in that case, the normal vector here is 1, 1, right? So that is the normal vector. Normal to line. Is that clear to you, right? So, so in this particular case, that is the normal vector. Now, in the other example which we have, I could also write this as uh, when we have r dot i plus j minus 9 equals to 0. I could write this as x plus y minus 9 equals to 0. And here the normal vector is 1, 1. Correct? Now since both the normal vectors are same, they are parallel lines. Likewise, all these lines given are parallel. And we will now consider how do we find distance between uh, parallel lines. We will also use a concept which is uh, distance from a point to a line. To a line. So we also call this as a Cartesian equation or the scalar equation, right? So this is Cartesian or scalar form of the equation. So let us say that the point is. Uh, x0 y0 correct and the the line is and the line let's say line is uh, ax plus by plus c equals to 0 right so if that is the case then the distance is equal to the absolute value of uh, ax0 plus by0 plus c right divided by the normal vector square magnitude, right? So that is the formula which we'll be using to find the distance from a point to a line. Is that clear to you? Correct? So that becomes the formula. One interesting thing which when we have a parallel lines like this and if you have to find a point, then one of the point could be a y-intercept, right? So, so it turns out that we could also 
use y-intercept and uh, uh, alternate formula could be that distance is equal to uh, uh, you can say y-intercept let me write this as c2 minus c1 over square root of a square plus b square All right so if there are two lines we could take both the points as uh, you know uh, one of the point as a y-intercept and so c2 minus c1 could actually give us the distance between the two points with that in mind let's actually solve the questions now okay so let's take the very first question which is uh, shortest distance between these two lines let me once again talk about these lines so this line i could write this as x plus y plus 5 equals to 0 and the other line is x plus y minus 9 equals to 0 clear so both are parallel parallel lines since their normals are 1 1 correct what we mean by that is let us actually sketch our lines so uh, if normal is this then the direction vector m will be what it's a negative reciprocal right so so it could be 1 minus 1 is that okay so that could be the direction vector for each correct now let's take a point on both the lines so what we will do here is if my x value is 0 right so so the y intercept will say so uh, on the line which is x plus y plus 5 equals to 0 y equals to minus 5 for x equals to 0 correct and in the other line x plus y minus 9 equals to 0 y is equal to 9 when x is equal to 0 correct so these are two intercepts y intercepts correct so if you are graphing these lines then one of the y intercept is minus 5 the direction is 1 minus 1 right so basically the lines are moving downwards correct so with a slope of 1 so here we have minus 5 0 so one of the lines is kind of kind of like this correct so this is your line shown here the other line is with y intercept of 9 so I'll just draw it parallel however kind of like this where this point is 9 for us and this point here is minus 5 you get the idea Correct. So these are your two lines. Correct. Now to find the shortest distance, shortest distance is along the normal. So I'm trying to show you how to understand. So from 5, if I draw this normal, right, so kind of like this, then this becomes the shortest distance between the lines. So this is along the normal, which is 1, 1. Is that clear to you? that becomes the shortest distance correct so we could be thinking like this that we want distance from a point p to the line x plus y minus 9 correct so in short we are trying to find distance from the point which is 0 minus 5 to x plus y minus 9 equals to 0 clear and we are going to use the distance formula to find this distance and that distance d is equal to absolute value of we are going to substitute this point 0 and minus 5 here right so we get 0 minus 5 minus 9 over a square plus b square square root which is 1 plus 1 is that clear to you so that absolute value is 14 over square root of 2. You will also notice that these are basically difference between these C C1 and C2 values. Do you see that? 9, you could write like this, 5 minus 9, the absolute value will be 14. 
and then that. Does it make sense to you, right? So we could use the formula, which I was just telling you in the beginning, that we could use the formula, which is C2 minus C1 absolute value over A square plus B square to find the value. Does it make sense to you? That is exactly what we are going to do. Perfect? Okay. Now let's take up the next example. Well, some of you could also write this as, uh, let me write down our answer as uh, distance, shortest distance will be, we can write uh, 14 square root 2 over 2 or we can write 7 square root 2, correct? So that could also be written units. Is that clear, right? Now let's take up the next example which is uh, right here. So let me first write down in the Cartesian form. So we will write in Cartesian or we also say scalar form. So first equation will be 2x minus 3y plus 4 and the second one is 4x minus 6y plus 3 equals to 0. Well, let me multiply this by 2. So we get 4x minus 3y equals to 0 uh, plus 8 equals to 0, right? And this becomes 4x minus 6y plus 3 equals to 0. So you can see there are parallel lines, right? You write normal vector here is 4 and 6. 4 and minus 6, correct? Uh, sorry, when I multiply by 2, this becomes 6. Correct. So both are exactly same. They are normal vectors. Is that clear to you? Right. So my reason of writing like this is that I could take away difference between 8 and this. I could do that. That's the whole idea. Correct. Now the distance between these will be distance once we know that this is a normal. So the distance between them is absolute value less to 8 minus 3 over square root of 4 square plus 6 square. Okay. So that becomes very simple. So we have used this C1 minus C2 and we made sure that this becomes exactly same to use 8 and 3, not 4 and 3. Do you see that idea, right? So, and this square root is... Uh, uh, 16 plus uh, 36, right? Okay, so let's find the answer now. We have square root of 16 plus 36, which is 2 square root 13. So we'll have 5 over 2 square root 13. Correct. So that is one way of doing it. Alternate method also, let me give you. We could find a point, right? Also discuss alternate method. So from the first line, let's take a point, right? So if I write, uh, let us say, if I write y equals to some point, y equals to 2. In that case, we get 2x minus 3 times 2 plus 4 equals to 0. Now we can find the value of x. So we get 2x equals to, uh, this is 6 minus 2 becomes 2. So x is equals to 1. Correct? So we get a point which is 1, 2. Now we have this point and we'll find distance of point 1, 2 from line which is 4x minus 6y plus 3 equals to 0. So this distance will be equal to, let's substitute 1 and 2 here. So we get absolute value of 4 times 1 minus 6 times 2 plus 3 over square root of 4 square plus 6 square. Correct. So numerator will be 4 minus 12 plus 3 over this denominator same as 2 square root 13 as we calculated earlier. Now what do you get here? 4 plus 3 is 7. And when you take away from 12, we do get 5. Do you see that? 5 over 2 square root 30. So either you use any point in the line or you make the uh, normals kind of same magnitude wise, right? 
and then use C2 minus C1. That is a shortcut method for this. That is what I want to emphasize. So both are kind of same and uh, you could use any one of them to find the distance between two lines, correct? Now we are given uh, equations which are in vector form. Find the shortest distance between R and this. So we can write this vector form. This is like a, a point is given to us which is 1, 1, right? Plus S times. So we write it in vector form 3 minus 1. Is that clear? The other one is uh, the line R is the point is given to us as uh, 4 and 5, correct? plus t times and this direction is given to us at 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 now this is a scalar multiple and therefore they are parallel Correct. so what we can write here directly is that uh, uh, 2 times 3 minus 1 is 6 minus 2 scalar multiple So that means parallel. Correct? Uh, there is no need to prove it since it is normally given in the question that distance between two parallel lines we are discussing. Correct? So we are actually discussing parallel lines in R2. Anyway, important to note. Correct? Now, in such cases, what we know here is we definitely know that there is a point 4, 5 on this. Correct? So we have a point which is 4, 5. What we can do is, we can write this in Cartesian form. So, convert into scalar form. How do we do that? Okay. Now, since we know that the direction is, we know direction M is 3 minus 1. Correct? In that case, what would be the normal? To get the normal, you just swap. So 1 and 3 and change one of the signs. So that becomes the normal. Do you see that? Since this is the normal, the equation will be Ax, A is 1, right? Ax plus By equals to, let's say, D, right? Now in this case, normal A is 1, B is 3, correct? So I could write this as x plus 3y equals to D. How do we find D? We can substitute 1 and 1. We know the point 1 and 1 is on this line. On this line. Correct? So if I substitute 1 and 1, I get what? I get 1 plus 3 times 1, which is D. So D is equal to 4. Is it clear? And therefore, I have equation scalar form, which is x plus 3y equals to 4 or minus 4 equals to 0. Is that clear to you? So see how easily I have converted my equation from the vector form to a scalar form. x plus 3y minus 5 equals to 0. Now we'll find the distance between the line and the point. So the distance here will be equal to absolute value. Substitute 4 here, right? So we have 4 plus 3 times 5 minus 4 divided by square root of 1 square plus 3 square which is 15 over 10 square root, correct so that becomes your answer does it make sense to you so we'll write the answers in uh, uh, this form we are not rationalizing at present okay so it is 15 over square root 10 you could rationalize and also write the answer so i hope with this how do we find distance shortest distance between two parallel lines in R2 should be absolutely clear. So we have taken lines in different forms and then used the standard formula to figure it out. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.